Hello friends, good morning. Welcome to our chemistry class. Today we are going to discuss one of the most important topic in asymmetric synthesis. Okay friends, let us start. See, the name of the concept which we are going to discuss today is alkylation of carbonyl compounds, especially ketones. Okay friends, let us start. See, alkylation of ketones or chiral imines. Okay friends, let us see this. Okay. This is pyrrolidine. We know that this is pyrrolidine. Okay. See, here we have a hydrogen, right? Yeah. See, if we substitute this hydrogen with amine group, means see, at first position, okay, at first position, here we have substituted amine group. Okay. Now, let us try to naming it. Okay. See, okay. Here, first of all, we have to give numbering, right? Yeah. 1, 2, Three, okay amino so one amino okay one amino see this is, is a OCH3 that means methoxy okay that means see one amino two methoxy okay here we have a CH2 group right okay we used to call CH2 as methylene or uh, means a uh, see means a methylene group no CH2 means methylene okay but while we are writing we should write like this okay two methoxy methyl pyrrolidine we know that this is pyrrolidine no okay today to discuss alkylation in ketones we have to take this okay the name of this is one amino two methoxy we can means we may call it as methylene or methyl okay two methoxy methylene pyrrolidine okay pyrrolidine okay let us try to assign configuration to this friends okay see see this is the chiral carbon okay we know that we have to assign configuration to chiral center right yeah see this is the nitrogen okay see first of all we have to observe the substituent means substituent in the sense here we have to observe the adjacent atoms to which the carbon is attached okay here it is attached to nitrogen okay see and here it is attached to ch2 and here we will have the hydrogen and similarly here we have a ch2 okay we know that our nitrogen will get the first priority okay here we have to assign one okay next see of course uh, at second and third positions uh, we are having a ch2 groups uh, so that we have to look at the adjacent atom see here we have the oxygen but here we have the carbon we know that uh, we had to give more priority to oxygen rather than giving to carbon okay so that here this oxygen will get second priority okay third and finally fourth for hydrogen okay now let us try to draw a circle like this see okay one two three no so one two three so this is we know that this is anti-clockwise direction yes clockwise means r but here we are getting anti-clockwise direction okay that means yes okay so it will it will be having a yes configuration okay the name of this is 1 amino 2 methoxy methyl pyrrolidine right yeah and um, just now we have assigned configuration to this right yeah so this is yes okay in shortcut okay let us uh, use this name as amp that means amino 2 methoxy methyl pyrrolidine okay okay friends let us start see here we have taken a ketone okay we know that here we have a keto group so this is a three pentanone okay this is a ketone okay see here they have given okay means uh, see first one yes amp means this one friends okay one amino two methoxy methyl pyrrolidine okay next lda we know that lda means lithium diisopropyl amide okay next uh, propyl iodide okay finally O3 that means ozonolysis okay see here we will get this one okay we will get this see one thing here what we have to absorb is see here we have used SMP SAMP no in the final products also we will get this SAMP okay let's go through the mechanism friends okay see first see first let us see the first step okay that means First, we have to treat this ketone with SAMP. Okay, see friends, see. Okay, see, this is SAMP. Okay, already I have told you now. So, this is 
S A M P. Okay, and this is the what ketone means pentanone. Okay, see if we observe here, see this is the first step, friends. Just what here we are doing means we are treating this ketone with this S A M P. Okay, see here the loss of water molecule will occur. See here just the thing what we had to observe is see two hydrogens from yes amp and one oxygen from this keto group okay are getting lost in the form of h2o okay and the remaining thing we had to write as usual friends see the entire structure is same friends just what we are doing means we are removing this h2 and o from this okay so that here h2o is getting lost okay and the remaining is same okay see n double bond and uh, this is similar friends okay this is the chiral intermediate okay here the first step is completed okay see in the first step just means just water is getting lost so first step is completed friends okay next and this is the chiral intermediate okay next second see second means we had to treat that with lda lda means what lithium diisopropyl amide okay see see here what will happens means see friends see this is the alpha carbon okay this, we know that okay this is a amine group right means just like a imine we can say okay so this is a imine right and this is the alpha position okay alpha position okay whenever we treat this with lithium diisopropyl amide see this is the alpha position no see we know that here means it will have a two hydrogens no okay we may represent the ch2 like ch minus okay ch minus we know that in lithium diisopropyl amide lithium is positively charged no okay so that the lithium which is positively charged will come to the ch minus okay ch minus okay see that's it friends okay this is the second step okay see the entire thing is same friends just we had to observe the slight difference that's it okay see here the second step is completed friends okay next what is our third step okay treating with propyl iodide okay propyl iodide okay see see friends here see this is a propyl iodide we know that alkyl groups are what see this is alkyl group no means means this is positively charged okay alkyl group means this is positively charged and of course we know that this is a halogen okay halogens are electronegative no so that this iodine will get the negative charge and this entire alkyl group will get the positive charge okay and see see means uh, here what's happening means we know that in this the lithium is present no and this lithium is positively charged no so this lithium which is positively charged okay will get attached to this i minus and these two will get eliminated in the form of lithium iodide okay minus li this is lithium iodide okay see and see the thing what we had to observe is the only change what here we are observing is see here this iodine or iodide is negatively charged and this is positively charged okay so that this l i i means lithium iodide okay will get lost okay will get lost and here the ch minus is negatively charged no okay this ch minus is negatively charged and this entire alkyl group is positively charged no so that this alkyl group will get attached to this okay that means near to the ch this alkyl group will get attached that means ch so this ch is as usual friends okay ch ch2 ch2 ch3 okay so that our third step is completed friends next final step ozonolysis i think you have idea about the ozonolysis right yes see ozonolysis means just what we had to do means wherever you find the double bond see the thing what we had to do means just we had to break the double bond and we had to insert oxygen that's it friends okay this is the double bond of see this in this means in this entire structure we are observing the double bond at this place no so here we have the ozonolysis right ozonolysis means what i told just we had to break the double bond and we had to insert a oxygen atom so see the same thing here i did friends okay see here see i have broken this double bond and i have inserted a single oxygen atom 
okay okay this one that is and see here also means for this part also double bond is there right okay the same thing what we have did for this upper part okay we have to do the same thing for this lower part also means okay see means just to the double bond for the lower part also we had to add oxygen okay the same thing here i did friends okay see just i have inserted oxygen okay and the remaining is same friends okay see here see this one friends this one i forgot to tell you friends see here see this hydrogen is above the plane okay this hydrogen is above the plane no so that this alkyl group will get attached to this carbon from the lower plane okay that's it next see okay i discussed about the ozonolysis no yeah see here i have already told you right see in the final product okay see here we have used samp no in the final product also we will get samp already i said you this right yeah let us observe this see see here if we treat this with h2 okay if we treat this with h2 then we will get nh2 okay see do you remember that at first okay i told you about yes amp no okay i think both the structures are similar right okay i think you have idea okay let me show you again that see this one only no see this is yes amp the same thing friends here also we have got that yes amp okay okay one more thing i want to tell you friends okay see here see here means if the means if we have the configuration as yes means in the final product also we will get yes as configuration okay see in means before starting the mechanism okay i have explained you about the configuration right yeah at starting i have told you right yeah we got yes no so similarly here also friends the same thing see try to observe the configuration for these friends okay see this is a chiral carbon yeah try to assign configuration to this okay see first okay this is a carbon and this carbon is attached to carbon means see c double bond o here we have a c double bond o okay and of course here we have cc so that we know that here we have to give priority to oxygen no? so here we have to assign one okay next see second we know that here this part will get the second priority okay third and finally fourth okay if we try to okay draw a arrow like this we will get a clockwise arrow clockwise means what rectus so we may think that it is or but not that thing friends because see here the least priority is for hydrogen right so here the least priority hydrogen is towards us means it is above the plane so that here the configuration will changes okay so that here or will become yes okay or will become yes so this is a sinister okay Hope you understood this friends. Thank you.